Before 1995, the diagnosis of chronic pelvic pain in men didn't really exist. We know now that roughly between 1 and 4 million men suffer from interstitial cystitis, and probably 2 to 4 million U.S. American men suffer from chronic abacterial prostatitis. The fact that men suffer from both of these afflictions underscores the understanding that there is a neurological aspect to these pain syndromes. In fact, patients don't suffer just from interstitial cystitis or just from chronic abacterial prostatitis. Once the nervous system is upregulated, the patient can have pain in the pelvis referable to the bladder or the prostate. They can have dysuria, difficulty in painful urination, frequency, urgency, pain on intercourse, as well as pelvic pain within the genitalia and rectum and the like. Since that time, many of these patients may have undergone cystoscopy, an evaluation of their bladder using a scope, or may have undergone evaluation of the prostate gland utilizing ultrasound and biopsies previously. Whether or not the patient had an infection previously does not underscore the need to treat the patient neurologically at this point. If you're one of the millions of men suffering from chronic pelvic pain, I urge you to check out pelvicrelief.com.